Hello, this is Adrian from my channel, Random Drop. It is the first week of May, 2021. We are about just under two weeks from FanFest or Final Fantasy XIV. I am here. This is probably what I'm laying over right now, some Nier replicant footage. I've been diving deep into this game. I know the story of Nier, right? I don't know what new stuff has been added to this game exactly. Well, I've watched the Let's Play way back when because I mean, honestly, I couldn't be bothered. The game didn't look like it played very well, and then the most it really had going for it was, you know, the story and the things the story does and the Yoko Taroisms. So I jumped on the Nier Automata bandwagon. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So I'm going into this with its improved battle system and its improved graphics, but not so much improved, like, I mean, it's not so much improved gameplay or, or not game, gameplay is improved, but the quest design and the world design is still very PS3 era-ish, right? It is very much a, just how Yoko Taro explained is like, it's another version of the game ra rather, right? It's version 1.2. It is a, another iteration where they updated a bunch of things, maybe finished some things that they weren't able to finish to begin with in the original release, but it's not a 2.0, right? It's not an overhauling. It's an update to a game, which we are getting the replicant version. And those who don't know, hey, we had old man here for our version, which some people love, some people uh, don't love so much. I, I think most Americans or like Westerners do like that guy more, right? Overall, because the father daughter vibe works a lot better with us. While in Japan, in their culture, the the brother and sister vibe, the protecting brother and sister vibe works a lot better with them, right? Um, but no, like over here, it's all, all the low the last of us is and all that hi those are my dogs over there um works out a lot better in the west but i really like brother near right he is it very much feels like hey if you gave link a voice right and link was in like a weird dour dour world kind of like get to know that character and he's kind of upbeat and like yeah man like we got to help people this and that but then you know time passes on you kind of see that character change and he's a very different person as you go forward into that game and it's really incredible to see uh, the guy who voices Brother Near is Noctis. I don't know the actor's name, but um, he's really good. He, he fucking sells it, man. Uh, he like sells the pain. Like he feels like that kid grew up five years later and has seen some shit at this point. But yeah, it's been a really, it's a, been a pleasure and joy to play. I am kind of stressed out by the fact that like, okay, I know what these games are like. I need to collect every fucking upgrade and every weapon in the game. Make sure I don't miss anything. Cause I know I'm going to require all of it for some bullshit at the end, right? So it's, it's kind of, I'm not playing with the guide or anything, but I'm a little stressed out by the fact like, am I missing something here? Am I missing an item here? I hope there's, I'm not locked out of anything if I like, I don't know, start a cutscene or something like that and then miss out on something, right? Um, but I know there's multiple playthroughs, so hopefully that resolves that sort of thing. But yeah, like, there's a lot of just grinding and a lot of my footage here is actually just me grinding for materials. Um, because if you want to see every ending, you I know you have to upgrade every fucking weapon in the game and they don't, they don't make it very easy um, which you only had to do that for Emil's secret ending ending Y with the extra boss fight and anything so it's like super super secret ending it's super extra doesn't wrap up the story or anything it's just like a big side note for Nier Automata um, that one requires hey get everything motherfucker uh, which I did and it was it was a joy I platinum that game it was awesome I really want to platinum this game but Man, some of these side quests are holy shit. But yeah, I've been enjoying that game, really playing this game a bunch, continuing my adventures in 14. I'm trying to get that mount from the Unreal Trials, been doing Unreal Leviathan. That fight, I think, is really easy, but I think people overcomplicate it, or like, really, you don't need an LB3, all the spumes on the ground. You can just fucking DPS him like regular. People can do the damage, believe in yourselves, save LB3 for that one ad that fears everyone at the very end because that's the one that wipes everyone every fucking time we get to it if he gets that fear off it's over because there's no fucking side railings so what is the safest plan kill that motherfucker in five seconds don't give it up to chance maybe if you have a pallet in your group because they can like chain stun very easily sure why not but the rest of the tanks only have a two second kick stun so it's super annoying to kill and it's super hard to tell like hey when should i be fucking stunning this guy because uh, it is two seconds and the melee aren't gonna fucking stun they've never stunned anything in their lives the game has not taught them to do anything like that anymore but i digress I i've been doing that stuff every week I'm working on e12 but we've been having weird connection issues in e12 where like the person's internet is fine 
but the game starts being really choppy and laggy and it's happened to three separate people all with great internet connections we can all even stream in 1080p and be fine and play other games but for some reason final fantasy 14 is like fucking up on us when we're in the raids so it's killed progression completely um and it just seems to happen randomly like we're just getting into like we're, we did an hour of pulls and the last hour we can't do anything because one player is literally useless and can't actually play the game um it's it's really really frustrating i don't know what's going on or if any, anyone else has ever experienced that bug but fuck it man it's i just want to kill it before the next expansion I'm not trying to prove anything here so I'm fine if like it takes till we get the echo or something because I've done Shiva, right? I know I can do these kind of fights, but yeah, it, it's just it's really sucks being hamstrung that way. Other than that, I mean, like the weird thing, right? I, I, I keep up with WoW. Like I still look at videos. I watch Billy or vid videos and I watch um, the, the preach um, interview with Ian, like because I, I really find design philosophies super interesting and why do they do certain things and their thought process behind them and the player reactions and the player realities to them right um and it's just man it's a fucking crazy shit show over there right now people are not happy and the things they're doing to Torghast and like the choices they're making really don't make sense and there's just a lot of i feel for that player base i feel like the, like B B belair um that channel said they feel like they're paying a pay playing a paid beta test and by the time the last patch hits around like it's feeling pretty good but then the next expansion comes out and they just throw that shit away right they don't really keep things from expansion to expansion in that game and it's a very huge thing compared to like us right here in 14 land where it was surprising when fucking heavens were came out all of a realm reborn was still there you couldn't skip it you had to fucking get through it crystal tower was still there those extreme primals were still there and people were still doing them in general because of glamours and different other reasons but all that shit was still there right and and then we've gone from expansion to expansion with all these dungeons and the roulette is just getting larger and larger and more wild and it's just a stack of fucking content right there's so much to do in this game because they didn't just make it irrelevant meanwhile wow like all those raids all those dungeons are super relevant you might see a dungeon in a roulette or so but it's like not connected to anything it's like you're just queuing into a random thing like in destiny or like a just a random call of duty match right like it's just not part of your journey at all and that's what one thing ian describes right like they don't want to ruin the journey of world of warcraft by making certain changes and i really want to make a video on this one day of like dude that journey is fucking dead and gone you guys have ruined it and the fact that like you guys have basically wiped every expansion every time one's come out right you're finally starting to pay those dues people are starting to get like feel tired of it and they just feel like why am i why don't i just start at shadowlands every time you release an expansion right what's the point of all this shit because the beginning of the game doesn't teach you anything and it will teach you nothing and imagine if a new player it's a terrible fucking experience and there's no new players coming in because of reasons like that right and meanwhile other games like 14 are fucking thriving and because it's so slow at the beginning of 14 and it takes its fucking time but that drives a while that drives away mmo veterans but lots of people who have never played the genre are coming into this game right and they're giving it a shot and letting the story capture them and the game has been growing every expansion we have not hit that tipping point yet maybe one day we'll hit our cataclysm and fall off but so far man it's a fucking we're still going up that roller coaster um in terms of like growth and that's what yoshi pc says right there's like ups and downs slowly up and down but overall the line is trending up um which is awesome that's what you want your game to see not this big fucking spike when the expansion comes out then everyone realizes oh this is a giant piece of shit and then it just drops all the way back down right people get excited because there's hope in the fact that hey maybe they'll get it right this time maybe this will be a legion again and no it, it's not um it's sadly very much not um so i very much feel for those people who are like man i just want to play this game and it'd be good why are they doing all this crazy dumb bullshit why aren't they just focusing on content i feel for you, you and i have problems with 14 right there's i wish they took a little bit more risks or risks didn't take as long as to progress but like it's so far it's worked out right we're still getting you no know, primals and well, sadly we lost ultimates because of covid and all that but overall like the game has been trying new shit and doing new shit on reels and so forth and they're focused on the general player base 
right? They're not trying to make the game a fucking esport like, like World of Warcraft is. They're trying shit out. They're doing bosses. They're doing all this other crap. And then they'll give the crazy people their crazy ultimates every now and then and let them fucking fight it out, right? Um, and that stuff is fun and I like to see it, right? I like to see that progression and that crazy hard boss fight. But yeah, it's just watching the other side, right? And yeah, it's a game I used to love so much. And just watching it just not fucking do anything, man. It's crazy. But yeah, that's that's me here, right? That's me there for the week, really. Yeah, I really probably should make that video at some point and talk about the journeys, right? Like, hey, wow, like explain, hey, wow, you have lost your journey. That is long gone. You lost it. <laughs> you really lost it at a certain point when you squished everything together. But like, it's super gone now. But over time, right, that journey has been lost and it's it, it needed an update at some point. And they updated only the first 10 levels, which is ridiculous. They literally need to make a 1 to 60 or 1 to 50 campaign that is just its own thing, its own story. It's doing its own thing. And then, hey, we're caught up with the 50 shit or something like that. But other than that, this is Adrian from my channel, Random Drop. I stream on twitch.tv slash rando underscore zero two six eight. Um, let me know how your week's going, right? Talk to me here. Um, are you still playing World of Warcraft? What are you excited about in, in terms of the 14 event and the things they're going to announce? What are some of the issues you have with 14 and which they did better? Um, and yeah, like, what are you doing with your time? Have you played Nier? Have you played Nier Automata? Um, what's the reason you haven't played it, right? Is there something that really puts you off about it, right? Because there's some things, right? But I overall think they're very good games. But yeah, they're a little weird, um, definitely. Till then, I'll see you next time.